We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm still Spencer. And I will always remain Daniel. Episode 10, Series 3 of the Ricky Gervais Show. Society <laughs> is the name of this one. But what is it always? Bugs. It's bugs. Bugs. It's bugs. <laughs> yeah. No talk needed. Let's get into it. Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. In ancient Greece, every year, 500 people would be selected from that Grecian society, and they would have to sit there that year and they would propose laws and everyone else would vote on them now if you're in that position right you're called up what rules and laws are you instigating you might go right i, I want uh i want an egalitarian society i want freedom for people i don't want slavery i don't want any sort of oppression would that be high on your list well, you could say you know when i worked at Cordon Bleu, there was times when I thought being treated like a slave here. Mm. You were oh right, my god. You were and you were free. So, what what do you mean? I wasn't free. I was on like from, from nine till six. Yeah, you had the choice to leave the job. Slaves didn't have a choice to leave. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, you did, the only yeah. other choice was Tesco and they'd already turned me down. No, that's not, that's not, that <laughs> wasn't, no the, choice. That, that's wasn't why, the, yeah. that wasn't the lack of choice given to most but the slaves. slaves. The slaves who built the pyramids, that wasn't an option for them. It wasn't like they could go and, well, I, I can get a better gig on the Sphinx. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. No, you're not saying anything. You're saying absolute drivel again. Um, Here's a little Greek proverb for you. A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. What do you think of that? Do you understand? Yeah. Just saying, uh, they're planting a seed, they grow a tree, but trees take ages. Yeah. It takes a long time. Yeah. That old fella's not going to get any joy out of that. Right. But, if he's lucky, yeah. the fella next door might have done the same years ago. So it's all about sort of planting a seed, looking after each other. That's great, actually. It's not, I don't think it's directly it's what almost, it means. It's almost the point. Yeah, That's yeah. good. Yeah, I, I think he means that future generations. But yeah, if the, if future, yeah, the, if the next door neighbour had done that, then uh, yeah, that works as well. But that's, yeah. but you seem to agree that that's a good point. Do you agree that seems a good point to you? Um, but I'm, I'm sort of guessing he, he enjoyed gardening anyway. Part of the enjoyment <laughs> was in planting that seed. Oh, we, we have... It's the old metaphor problem again, isn't I know, it? Yeah. It's not specifically about trees. But, but, but as a metaphor, what he enjoyed is the fact that he's added to society and human life and he's got a legacy and all that. But so. by the same time, when I went to Ibiza, mm. right? Now there, they have motorbikes, people flying around on them. People don't wear helmets. You might even get three people on a moped. I saw a farmer with a goat in a basket. They don't <laughs> care. They're whizzing around at high speeds. A lot of deaths there. Yeah. Um, and they'll have a lot of them, them see the, those areas where someone's come off, been killed, people put flowers there. Yeah. And because that happens a lot, it's a lovely green island. Now here, we're saying whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying what? that all the deaths make it nice because there's makes flowers. It makes it lovely. Because there's loads of flowers everywhere. So with death... <laughs> This is why you can't give these heavy topics to Carl. I, this is love, what he does with them. He I just love it, man. uses them as toilet paper. Uh, but I mean, I think I think what what Ricky said is is very true. Carl takes metaphors very literal. Yeah, he's he's a king literal. Just, yeah, that's that's and I mean it, that's that's a tough world to live in when you take. Yeah, it, it's just one dimensional kind of thing. Yeah, and taking everything at face value. Yeah, but I, I love that. I love the fact that Ibiza is is riddled with just beautiful flowers, and not because they put them there, but because people died there. So it's like, right. oh, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, flowers you have here on the side. It's because everyone died. Damn. Yeah, it, it, it's a different take <laughs> on a cemetery, basically. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, wow. And and look, you know the the metaphor about the guy planting a. A tree that he will never reap the benefits of. <laughs> that, that just summed up the whole series right there. His reactions yes. like, oh, he probably liked gardening already or something like that. <laughs> yeah. That just sums yeah. up the whole series yeah. for me. I, I think I think it does, mate. It's just, it's just, I, uh, it's just, he, Ricky just goes too deep sometimes. Just he knows deep, what he's on doing. On purpose. Yeah, he does. He does. He really does. Mm -hmm. Man. Mm -hmm. So with death comes beauty. So that's another metaphor. You can have that one. 
That was one of the most now, tortuous things I've ever. That was extraordinary. But look, look at London. That was extraordinary, Carl. Right, Carl. Carl. Well, look so, at London. Now. Let me finish point. my point. Let him finish his point. Let him finish. Yeah, I'm yeah. intrigued. Right, London. Councillor with his clipboard, either a speed bumper, I saw someone doing 35. Put some traffic lights there and a pedestrian crossing, mm. pelican crossing there as well, and a speed camera. Right. Horrible and grey. Okay. No flowers. But you still see flowers left behind where people have died in terrible accidents. Not you many see good that all ones. The time. He stuck to a lamp post with an elastic band round him. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look nice. He's not the quality of flowers. Yeah, but the point wow. is, this, the point is <laughs> Some 15 year old got run down and you're disappointed <laughs> at the quality of the flowers. Look at this, Suzanne. Fella lost his head here. Geraniums? So, Geraniums? For fella lost bloody head? Well, Fucking that's so we have to, funny we you have say to that, encourage though. gun crime so that people will get shot in inner cities and then we can put flowers up and beautify the area. Is that no, what you're but saying? if an area's nicer to look in, nicer to be in, if it's nicer looking, um, you don't get people speeding around like lunatics. Because they go, I'm not in a rush, I'd quite like to slow down well, there and look so at the flowers. This is so complicated. So now what you're saying is because an area is grey and gloomy, people speed around to get out of it. In the course of doing that, they knock people down. <laughs> and the flowers are put up, which makes the area beautiful, thus stopping people driving around at speed so death no longer occurs. Well, they're cute getting out of their cars to, to put down flowers. <laughs> and they get knocked down. Yeah. Yeah. other people on their way to put some flowers down. Yeah. Just sometimes people have to die, don't they? There was a fellow outside our house. Yeah. Oh, he had a helmet on. But his head come off. <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh at a man's head coming off just the way you said it. But, but that's the <laughs> thing. <laughs> he had a... He, he had a... Oh, God! There's a man who died in the house. He had a lamp post, he had a helmet on, but his head come off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that because in that one instance, the helmet did not save his life... His head was in great condition. It's just not attached <laughs> to his body. That's what I'm to you. Sometimes people have, <laughs> people have to fair, die. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> the helmet did its job. It did its job. You could put that. <laughs> what's that head shrinking thing? I I know about it. I just don't oh, know the context oh, of it. Whatever oh, that God. is. Oh God! Oh, I think the helmet did its job. It protected the head. <laughs> just the head wasn't on the body. Jesus, I love oh, that. Oh God. man. But. To that point about, you know, gloomy places, people going faster, not going faster. Uh, has he ever watched the Monaco Grand Prix? Because people, yeah. I mean, that's one of the shorter circuits. But, hey, I did a watch along of it on my motorsport channel. And it was some beautiful scenery there. There's a lot of F1 tracks that have beautiful scenery. And they go super fast. So, yes, his yes. whole thing, uh, bullshit. Bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What happened to that yeah. guy? Yeah, oh, yeah. He needs to come back around. We need him more than ever. <laughs> but then, but then, is it bullshit? If Carl's like bullshit, like it could have just been a metaphor. Like, yeah, bro, <laughs> calm down with that. Have to die. How far? How far do you take all this stuff of of you know safety gear and slowing down and <laughs> wear bright clothes at night? And what? It's just too much. Very important point. You see, do you think someone should be made to wear a crash helmet? They're only hurting themselves. Uh, crash helmet. I don't think you should get fined for not wearing one. Well, don't forget, we're not just protecting him, he could be a father with two kids. So you're going, oh, let him, uh, if he doesn't want to wear a crash helmet, let him, let him get brain damage. Is that what you're saying? I'm yeah. just saying, we're, we're over the top in this country. No, but you, when it comes so you're to saying, that sort if of you're thing. saying, no, if he doesn't want to wear a crash helmet, let him not wear a crash helmet. He smacks his head in. He's a vegetable. He's like that. I'm sitting at home like that. And yet the two little kids come to you. You're in charge, don't forget. We've put you in charge of society here. And they come to you. <laughs> two little kids, they go, President Bill Newton. What? Why did you let my daddy wear the why not wear the crash helmet? I didn't. We paid her, uh, we put leaflets through the door. We had adverts on the telly sun showing. Yeah, but, but why? It's your dad's fault. But why wasn't it compulsory? Because he wanted it's, it's not the world we live in, Sonny. Yeah, he's, now I haven't got a daddy. Has he got an helmet at all? Have you seen he's, an helmet knocking about? No, he's, 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 he's a vegetable uh, now. Yeah. Uh, he didn't want to wear a crash helmet, but why didn't you make him wear a crash helmet? It wasn't just him, it was us. Oh, why, did, why did you turn my daddy into a vegetable? Where's your mum? <laughs> mum left when he kept, he kept going on about not wearing a crash helmet. Right, she, I'm put you in a home. <laughs> I just think, you see, this is the problem. Everyone's looking for someone to blame. Yes, but 
<laughs> this is interesting though because you you were particularly callous to that little four year old boy. He seemed yeah. so sweet and adorable. Yeah. But why wasn't he giving this stick to his dad? Well, his, his dad's, dad's dead. A vegetable. He's a vegetable. He's dead. Yeah. He's good as dead to him. His dad went within the law. It was not the law to wear a crash helmet anymore because you said, forget it, I don't want a nanny state. I don't want. If you wear a crash helmet or not, he wasn't a responsible parent. He hadn't thought it through. But this is your job. Some people aren't responsible. Society keeps them in tr on track. This was your. You were in charge. God. You should have made him wear a crash helmet. He had two kids. We've heard from one of the kids. What's the other one's attitude? Is he is he younger? He's a bit younger. Oh god! I would have this... been like, at least he didn't have three kids. You know, like <laughs> let's just talk about it. God, I'm just, I'm just trying to let this one cook a little bit, but I've I, the whole time I'm just thinking this is Daniel to a T right what? here. <laughs> Remove yeah. all the labels. Remove yeah. all the helmets. It's, it's just like, if you want to go out there and die, go ahead. Have you seen the population? Go ahead. <laughs> like, the world will still spin. We will be fine. Like, <laughs> you should have thought about that before the fucking, before you, oh, man. You know what I mean? Like, that's, and, and, and I love the point he brings up. It's like, he should have been thinking about that because he has a family. More so because he has a family, right? Right, but he's not. Right. So okay, okay, do it, dude. Do it. Do it. Like, <laughs> like you're just you're blessed to have your gene pool still around. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, come on, come on, make it mandatory. You know, it, it, I I don't think that would ever. I don't know. There there's rules here, right? You have to wear a helmet. I think. I think Maybe. so. Yeah, I'm not a obviously I'm not a motorcyclist, um, right? Or a biker, as they call themselves. I'm not sure. Um, so it's it's just like it, it is what it is, man. Like it is what it is. Like you're you, if you're going to be unsafe and it only affects your decision only affects your life or the lives of kids that like or your kids. That's that's you. You have to live with that, and it's selfish not to wear a helmet for them. But there's no law against being selfish because God knows. Right. God knows that would put a lot of people behind bars if there was a law against being selfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know? yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. It's like you, you can't you can't make being selfish a law. So, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm with Carl 100 uh, percent. <laughs> I mean, as harsh as it sounds, uh, I'm with him. Right. You know, right. Because we still have traffic, right? Yeah, we still have, yeah, we still have traffic. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I had to go there. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. I was just like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Biggest question mark. I'm not going to say it, obviously, but I'm just like, lies. <laughs> God damn it. I'm like in traffic for like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I I'm was looking around. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I was going to bring it up and be like, hey, we could cut this part out if you want, but well, I'll, I'll save myself some editing time later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, because of traffic. That's all you got to say, Spence. But we're on the same it's way. All... You're still. Yeah. President Pilkington, uh... my brother's crying now. She shouted at him. I wish you to make my daddy wear a crash helmet. Why didn't you make your daddy wear a crash helmet? Well, he wouldn't listen to me because I'm not in charge of society. He didn't listen to me. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a, a numb nut, to be no, honest. No, he did listen to you. What did he do you for a living? Because you made a new rule saying people don't have right. to wear crash helmets. Right. What, and he listened what, to you. Did he, did he pop shoes on in the morning when he went out? Or did yeah. he need to be here to tell him to do that as well? well? No, there's certain Oh, so he, he has got just... some common sense then. Well, there's nothing. Oh, right, interesting. Yeah. So he can be bothered with his trains, but he can be bothered with helmets. Oh, I haven't got a daddy. Jesus. <laughs> Why can't they just put a leaflet through saying, hello everyone, use your common sense? <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm asking. Because, That's what I take because some people president. don't have common sense. Some Everyone's people, got some people common are sense. fucking idiots. Yeah. Well, they should, it's not my fault. That's then. why, yeah, that's why there fault. is a government. If we let if we let people, well, they'd be fucking idiots. That's well, what we've talked about here. Social responsibility. This is your approach. I wash my hands of the whole affair. Yeah, I don't I don't like the people who don't wear an helmet. Sort of the doom cells in, and that's cleared them off. That's one problem sorted. So you think you, you're, you're being Darwinian? You're thinking survival of the fittest. The yeah. idiots will suit, but they don't because it, they're not just the victims. The dead person isn't the victim. We've talked about it before. You know, people who smoke know that it's dangerous, <laughs> but why is that still legal? 
And yet people know that and they still smoke. Fat people know that they're going to get out of breath and clammy. What? And yet they still eat more. But because that's what I'm saying. Why don't we stop fat people eating? If you've got a smackhead and you really love him, you intervene, you grab him, you put him in a cupboard, you go, you're not coming out. He goes mad for about a year, then he yeah. thanks you for it. Yeah. So block fat people in a cupboard. And just put a carrot under the door. What? <laughs> Get him in! The thing is, there's got to be some responsibility. Now, if it's your own fat kid, stick him in your cupboard. But what I'm saying is, as a counsellor, I'm not spending taxpayers' money on cupboards to put the fat kid in. <laughs> God. Oh, dude! Obviously, I, I love it. I like I. <laughs> oh man, it's been it's been this long, but I am one hundred percent on board with Team Carl right here. Yeah, I am one hundred percent on board with Team Carl. <laughs> like, God Almighty! It, it 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 makes like I like how Steven gets all mad, but there are people with no common sense. You're and, looking at one right now. Yeah, and and and. It, Yes, that's true. See all the warning labels. Yes, we know they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm 100% okay with just, mm, let's just take this one off. Let's take this one off. You know, let's take this warning label off and we'll just, we'll be good. I think <laughs> just we'll one good. at a time, though. One at a yeah. time. Because one, knowledge... I, we pick one item every single year. Yeah, instead of the purge, we have a warning sticker removal. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's your platform, just, Daniel yeah. Arias, twenty twenty four. Take all every, the warning labels off. <laughs> every year, we'll have a big vote. Um, but it, it, you know, because what it is, it's like I feel like common sense is learned through experience, obviously. And so, if guess what, those two kids will never do ride a motorcycle without a helmet oh yeah oh yeah ever and they'll be sure to tell their generations and blah 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 blah, blah. wear your helmet great grandpa went through the windshield you know like yep. wear a helmet <laughs> where where yeah it's just it so that's what i'm saying it's just so so simple so simple uh... i think that's like the best way to do things <laughs> like Oh, yeah. Like, do, do you see like, okay. So I was cleaning out my garage. Everyone knows, at least everyone that's go. followed me and, and on my areas in the nation channel. No, I've right. cleaned out the garage a lot of times this past couple of days. Um, mm -hmm. I've been moving paint cans around and there's yeah. a huge warning label on each paint can. Don't let your child consume the paint. To me, that is a no shit. That is an absolutely no shit thing, like. Uh -huh. But someone to drank somebody. the paint. Someone drank the paint. Right, right. To put that and, sticker on, it. Because they don't want the company don't want to get sued. That's why they don't want to get sued. Oh my god, we're about to do, go down. Why? Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Do you want to just move on, man? Yeah, let's just do because we could be here for a year. Oh, yeah, we could be. We oh, could my God. Be. Obviously, in China, you can only have uh, one child, can't you? Is that something you feel we should bring in here? Dated. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we, we've got to, um, I don't know about one kid. I, I just sort of concentrate on who can have a kid. Okay. As opposed to, you know, if Did someone's it, got a lot Didn't they move that to, like, 2.5? Yeah, I think... You're, like, or, allowed or two least, and a half kid? Like, something like that? Yeah, or, or at least more than one, like... Yeah, I don't know. How do you have two and a half kids? No, I don't know. I don't know. But if they, if they did it by numbers, you know, two and a half, maybe a maybe a dog counts as half. A pet counts as half. Yeah, you know, cat, gold, a goldfish. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let Madonna have as many as she wants. Maybe but someone then, who's, oh, yeah, but then... So then, social engineering, you want to yeah, do Yeah, but then... But hold on, though. Well, what you said, then, if you're bringing them into a poor family, what's the plan? What good is that for anyone? It's not good for the people who've had the kids. So who's deciding who who's anything. allowed to have how many kids? Yeah, Are you deciding? I, I was I was uh, brought into the poor family, wasn't I? What? I was brought into a poor family. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm talking. I'm talking really poor. So, third world. Oh. oh. Well, poorer than that. Poorer than no money at all. I just mean like the people who I've told you about on the estate sometimes who had that one who chased cars and stuff. <laughs> he wasn't happy. 
they didn't care if he was there or not. What's the point? Right. <laughs> like, so hang on. So let's imagine sorry. that Ricky and I, our husband and wife, we've come in, right? What's your questions to us to establish whether we were allowed to have a couple of kids? Hello. Hello. Thanks, um, for, thanks for coming. Uh, me and my husband, um, we, we can't have children. Why not? Um, because uh, he's he's got no sperm at all. Okay. He had one sperm and it was it was t ridiculous. It was awful. It just <laughs> came out like a dead anchovy. Right. And, the, and you're meant to have three hundred billion tiny ones. And he had one big one. It was horrible. I had to pull it out. It was like a leech. And uh, and also I've uh, well, uh, no, I haven't got a vagina. So there was no completely smooth then, like an action. Then. Yeah. It was just like, I don't know. Uh, but we, we love children and um, uh, 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 we wondered if we we could um, have a child. What do you do for a living? What, what do you do? What's your work? Uh, what? I'm a rapist. Ridiculous things, Adam. <laughs> uh, well, oh, in that case, <laughs> business is booing. <laughs> Jesus, <coughs> I did not <clears throat> expect that from <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Just out of, 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 of the three of them, I expected it from like Ricky or maybe Carl on <laughs> accident, but not Steven. <laughs> oh, dude. He has his oh. moments. He has his moments on this show. <laughs> that timing was out of everything I could have guessed he would have said. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, oh my, my God. God. All right, what does Ricky do for a job? <laughs> All right, see yeah, this. Maybe... <sighs> I know I dispose of the bodies. I'll fill out this form. Okay. Just terrified a rapist murderer. Uh, yeah. Fill out the form. Yeah. Does it in the wrong order as well? I must yeah. say so. Uh, no, number of times I've disposed of the body. Said I didn't rape that one. I, uh, <laughs> just wondered uh, what else you need to know. So about dark. this. Because even though that I was uh, our little joke, by the way, yeah, he doesn't. Well, he doesn't rape. Really. <laughs> <don't really. laughs> he works in an office um, in, uh, in, uh, in the town. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a housewife. I think a housewife. I'm making a little nest for when we have we adopt a little. A little child. We don't earn a great deal of money, but we're good parents. We're we very think, good parents. You know, what's, what's that based on? How, how we well, we're good people. On? You know, mm. I mean, aside from a few naughty jokes, we're God-fearing people. We believe that um, uh, God is watching all of us, and um, we believe in, in the Old Testament. And, and sometimes uh, He tells us to, to kill and rape. Yeah, sometimes He does. Yeah. <laughs> we're joking again. We're joking course. again. Or we don't, <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> don't believe in God. We're um, we're a, a firm atheists and believe that our time on Earth is, is is all we have, and then when we die, we become worms, meat. Right. Uh, fully filled up. But we've already we've already painted the back bedroom. That's ready for the little child. We painted it black. Because yeah. um, we we want our child to be a Satanist. <laughs> Joking again. Little joke Joking again. We want, little joke. Be, we want him to be an accountant. Right. Yeah. Um, Gay accountant. <laughs> and there's too much in society where people are pressured to be heterosexual. So we're we're going to try and make ours a homosexual. Right. So you filled out the form. Filled out the form. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll pop that in. Get it processed. Right. Okay, but what kind of questions are you going to ask us? None, none really. No, it's just, <laughs> just my job. You're happy. Just You're my happy job to pass the forms on. We've passed the interview. Because that's the sort of world we live in now. Oh, oh, I love. All right, so <clears throat> I love that Carl's mind when he is put in this situation. He's like, all right, you're the decision maker. Well, no, I'm actually the worker. Like, the decision maker works somewhere else. Like, in his own mind, he never puts himself as, like, the top head honcho. He's always henchman or lower. Like, yeah. he's never the, the, the main character in his own scenarios, which is wild, which is a crazy psychological thing. Like, like he's never, he's just always the worker. So yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I love Carl, man. Yeah. <sighs> This is uh, one of the best episodes yet. I'm I mean, this one. it's just so freaking wild, dude. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Wow. You've obviously heard of the famous Rosa Parks incident in which Here we um, go. she was obliged to move on the bus 
where she was sent. This is interesting. To All right. And she chose not to, and she was Let's arrested go. for it. It became very much a, a sort of figurehead of the civil rights movement. Had you been travelling on that bus, what would you do? Um. And am I far from where I'm, I'm getting off? Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> so once again, you can't just nip out at the next stop so you can wash your hands of the whole affair. No, you're on that bus. You've still got a number of stops. So you've got to stay on that bus. You've seen this bus driver demanding that she gets up, gives up that seat. Maybe she's given up that seat for you. Uh, I'd probably go, it's all right. I'm, I'm standing, I'm all right. What if Suzanne wasn't allowed to sit with you on buses? What if... What if now a law came in that women were second-class citizens and she can't come with you? Wouldn't you go, no, fuck that, she's sitting with me? I'd say uh, we're only going around the block. We've been to the, to the shopping centre. Oh, we're my God. Minutes. Can you take that bag with you? There's, there's no one sat next to you down there. I'm a bit crammed in up here. There's more blokes on the bus. <laughs> so, you know, uh, no, let's put this just... Uh, you, I mean, obviously, this is too much for your head to... You're on a bus, yeah. right, yeah. and there's a few white people and they're, I'm the driver. and they're being racist to uh, a black kid. Right, I'd go, if I'm driving, I'd go, Just, lads, stop that, will you? If you're going to be racist, can you get off at the next stop and well, do it there? you know, we've all, we've, we've all had a tough day. It's the end of the day, we just all want to go home. We've all been working. Uh, he's not in your way, he's sat in his own seat. Sit back, calm down, have enough. Surely you come, surely you want to be on... He could never be a school bus driver. No. Or any kind no. of bus driver. It's just, I, this was, I, I said this was going to be interesting because it's, you know, Rosa Parks is it just so iconic here. Just like that, yeah. that whole thing was just, I, it's just interesting. I've never heard a perspective of that incident from anywhere else except for the U.S. Right. <clears throat> I've never heard any, and so of like that concept must be so, I would say, alien. Like, it's so different. I think that's very, like, us it's like centric right you know? right it's a big part of our history yes <laughs> so so it, it's just interesting because for me i mean it's just like a no-brainer like it's just like you <laughs> that's that's different but it's interesting to see carl just like oh no you know suzanne can't sit next to me like we're just going around the block like, <laughs> like it's like a more it's more of a destination thing it's more of like a hey well you know how long am i on the bus how how <laughs> How long does she not have to sit with you? Like, you know what I mean? It's it's uh, like it's a it's a massive concept. Like, and it's just it's just very interesting. Like, I'm I'm dialed into this little banter that they're having because um yeah, it's just different. It's just different. Yeah, to know? hear it from a yeah. Brit's Brit's perspective. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like I, a reverse of what we are. Yeah, it, that yeah exactly. It'd be yeah. I know. Anyway, that's why I'm dialed in on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the side of right. I'm just doing my job here. I'm sat driving a bus. I'm driving a bus for 30 quid a week here. I'm getting a load of grief okay. off some people right, at the end of the but day. But think bigger than the bus rule. It's not just a bus <laughs> thing. Right? Just imagine that you're not a bus driver. All right, no, but that's bigger. what we're talking about here. But yes, but Ricky's trying to make a point. It's an analogy again. It's about you taking some kind of responsibility that could you put you in harm's what, way. It yeah. could mean that you've got to stand up to danger or to bullies if or to aggression. If, if someone's attacking Suzanne, she goes, Carl, help. You go, no, he, no, oh, I could get her here. Because I know the full story here. But this is what I'm saying what about you Rosie, know the full story here? Rosie, what's it? I'm just saying. <laughs> Rosie, what's it? How did it work? I'll she got on the bus, she sat where she wanted. No, I'll tell you how it worked. It was uh, up to the driver's discretion to change where black people could sit, depending on the number of white passengers that got on. So she sat in a seat, so more and more white passengers get on, so this bloke decides, well, no, actually, this is no longer the black section, there is no black section, because there's enough white people, you've got to stand up. Yeah. And she decided, no, I'm not going to get up. It's my right to be able to sit on this bus as a person, as a human being, not whether or black or white. And that was why she got arrested. On a different bus, on a different day, it might not have turned out that way. That's what I'm saying. It might have been, you know, someone else who goes, get off, of, who's, who's been in the right mood, might have been in the pub all afternoon. And she's there going, I'm not moving, and he's, he's fed up, he's, had, he's up to here with it. So, so she's pissed up. She's she's pissed up. She's no, 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 the person the sat next to her yeah. might have even been a black bloke who's been working hard, and he's like, I don't want this. It's difficult, isn't it? If I was on there, I'd weigh her up. You know, is this woman doing this as like a good cause, or is she just a trouble causer? Because she just seemed like, you know, uh, I'll do what I want. 
Now that's fine. You'll always get people who do what they want and they do change the little rules along the way. But I bet she, when she was doing it, it wasn't like a big stand up, this is, this is the day I'm going to do it. It's just happened to, she was fed up that day. She didn't want to get up. Lazy. Oh my God. <laughs> she might just go around law breaking all the time. Oh she my God. She's, she's made a change about bus seats. But when she got up that morning, did she say I'm going to do that? Or has she been fighting oh. before she got on the bus? <laughs> this is boring. Is she just, is she just a, a, you know? No, she's not a troublemaker. She's someone who already had a burgeoning interest in the civil rights. I mean, I just... really thought the Rosa Parks incident was pretty cut and dry. It's... Oh my God. It, it's... It, it n n no, it's just too massive. It's just too massive a, of a concept for Carl it's, Pilkington yeah. to absorb. It's too massive. It's just too too big, too iconic. You know, it's just too different. It's just it's alien to him. Yeah, hundred percent alien. <laughs> God Almighty! Be I mean, that if would you think, yeah. If you if you take a step away from the whole thing and you look at it. From another person's or another place's perspective, where they don't know anything like that, where they didn't have those, maybe they didn't have those rules. I don't even know if they did or not. So it's like, who is it? it, it that I, I just, I, w I don't fault him for saying the things he's saying because he doesn't know. Right. It, it's <laughs> like, he, Rosa Parks is to Carl what Jimmy Salvo was to us. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't yeah. know. Didn't know. Yeah, we thought he was a football player. Right, like, right. <laughs> and my God, did we get put in our place? Yeah, oh, yeah. Or God. or fill up from this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My God, did we get put in our place? But we you sure know, did. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like I can't come down hard on Carl because he doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't yeah. know. It's just like okay. Okay. Right. It, and there's no way he could have known. Oh, no, no. Not at all, man. So it's just like, we know. And that's why it's like, oh. It's just like, yeah. dude. You can't uh. see it. You're just lazy. No. Are you kidding? You no. Uh, no. Well, you cannot. No, but anyway, that was, uh, it's different. It's interesting. This is interesting to me. This whole seeing us from a different side like is alternate universe us yeah yeah that's yeah. interesting <laughs> so i like that i like that a lot Carl, yeah. the fact that carl's managed to find an ambiguity in it I is know. extraordinary i love it tell me something else about rosie Parks. oh for god's sake i don't know what she's got to do to win you round carl <laughs> honestly i didn't realize i had to i didn't realize it would be this difficult uh, uh, <sighs> there was a bit of trouble in our yard the other day Right. Between uh, a wasp and a cricket. <laughs> Bugs! <laughs> now, the thing is, is there any point to this at all, or are you just going to tell us you saw Are you going to extrapolate some analogy from this? Uh, I think so. Okay, yeah, well, we'll let's see, see, let's see. So there's a wasp. Yeah, well, so look at the whole scenario. Wasp, the whole scenario. Wasp, right? as, you, as you said, sorry, right. just to clarify, as you said, it was kicking off. No, right, okay. Scenario. So you're looking I'm out of your window. No, I'm, I'm in the kitchen. I'm right. sink. Yeah. I'm washing up the few plates. Right. The kitchen door's open. Right. Suzanne says, oh my God, look at that. What? There's a, like a, a, a wasp <laughs> and a cricket having a wrestle. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure this wasn't Mexican television and it actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're there, wrestling, and I was like, well, stop them then. So stop she... Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't interfere with yeah. fucking Rosa Parks. Why are you interfering with a wasp in a cricket? Because one, I didn't even know they didn't get on, to be honest. <laughs> Because I've, I've, they, they were sort of wrestling, I said, and my hands were wet, so I couldn't do anything. I, I always overdo it with the fairy liquid, yeah. So she's she's there, I say, break, separate them. <laughs> I don't now, so she uses a tea towel, flicks and flicks. <laughs> Good right. thinking. The, the wasp goes its own way, the cricket's sort of jumping about a bit. But um, who was fighting it? So I'm sort of saying that is really weird, because wasps 
are changing quicker than anything else that I keep my eye on. Okay, well, that's just your theory, and it's not based on anything. Well, I've told you a couple of years back, I saw one eating chicken. They shouldn't right. be doing it. <laughs> so anyway, so now they're causing trouble with a cricket. Whoa, how do you know it was the wasp fault? This is prejudice. Why do you think it was the wasp fault? <laughs> what, what, what if the cricket would have started it? What if the cricket's got a society that go, we ate wasps, we ate their stripes. We ate them. If they come here, fight them. If someone comes down here, fight them. How do you know it wasn't the cricket that started that? Well, I suppose at that time. <laughs> oh, no way. Shit. Oh, no my way. God. No way. No what way. What's going on? Bro. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> this is Oh, awesome. my God. This could never come out today. <laughs> no, but I. Uh, oh, man. This this, oh, this has dude. to be the best one yet. This, this is the is one we've talked wild. the most. This is wild, dude. Uh, like the fact that... Oh, man. All right, let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, uh, didn't, but since... Oh, some cool information. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so this is anyway, like Columbo, isn't it? We uh, saw the... yeah. So I saw all that. We broke it up. The cricket was sort of shaking a bit. <laughs> he does, does he not? <laughs> it was shaking a little bit. Yeah. So I sort of prodded it, put a little leaf over it because it was a hot day. I thought I'd put a leaf there so it doesn't get overheated. I love it. It's like it's done the marathon. It's got a little, it's got bars on the leaf, so, written on the leaf, and now it's just walking over the little medal. So Suzanne, we, you know, we I'd leave it for a bit. Leave it. On. What about did you say? Half an hour, about, about, about left it for half an hour. What did Suzanne want to do? She wanted to interfere, did she? she wanted, what did she want to do? Just sort of like. Um... No, she just sort of said, leave it, stop messing with it. It's probably a little bit knocked out, a little bit stunned. Sure, let's right. get on with their lives, she said. Yeah. So <laughs> I put the leaf on it. We go off, and half an hour later, I get back in. I'm gonna, I said, I'm going to go and see the Where'd cricket. you go? Where'd you go? Just for a walk. Watch. So I've been out, back in, have a look. Cricket's still there. Noticed one of its legs gone. Oh. Don't know if the wasp did that. Or the tech sea towel flick. Well, right. this is when I got the computer. Oh my out. god! I had a look. What happened is the wasp apparently does this a lot and it stings them in the head. Right, not this particular. If there wasn't a little profile of this particular wasp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of it's just, it's just an incident that just happens a lot between wasp, uh, wasps and crickets. Uh, right. <clears throat> So it stung it in the head, and what happens is it's that whole thing that we talked about before, where it lays an egg. Oh! So I was I was sort of having a look, seeing if I could see any sort of holes in its head, uh, and it just kept sort of moving its one leg, like oh I can't get on the list. We've got one big leg. One big leg at the back now. It's normally got two that it uses to jump. So you were worried that crickets aren't aware of the dangers of wasps? I just had a look online and saw that oh it's a popular thing that happens. It's sort of like a bit of a mugging. Um, what? So you can leave them for about half an hour, they normally come round and they don't know they've had an egg put in their head. But There's no way it said leave them for half an hour and they come round they don't have an egg put in their There's no way it said but that. But he said they normally stunned for about half hour. Have you had an egg put in your head? <laughs> <laughs> like an ostrich egg, but it's coming out the top. So anyway, so I picked it up, I placed it under a little tree, I said it's in the shade again. Mm, no wasps yeah. can see it there, let's just leave it. Mm. But you've just left that cricket to now die in agony with that... Mm. Maggot goes round his head and comes out of wasp and leaves the carcass. Well, this is when Suzanne came up and said it wasn't moving. I sorted it. You yeah. sorted it. You sorted it. <laughs> what do you, what do you want to say? Do? What do you mean? Well, I said, what do you mean? You sorted it. She said, oh, Reap it's best that they don't tell you. Well, what sorry, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. She said she sorted you, it. Wait, 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 wait. Do you think that we're in the mafia and we're being wiretapped? <laughs> say what happened. <laughs> No, well, she just said she sorted it, and I said, what, sorted what? Because I'd forgotten about it at that point, I was painting. And right. she said the... the cricket. Right, what do you think she meant by sorted it? Well, by the look on her face, the way she said it, I've known her for long enough, so I know that she meant it's not good news. Yeah, so what, so what happened? <laughs> so, from that, so... I took for granted she means... Say it! I've stopped, I've stopped it being... It's no longer in misery. What? So, what do you what? mean? What? What did she do? She, she crushed his head. With a stone. <laughs> it was a tiny head shaped stone. And washed it. <laughs> a little bit left, let it go, let it go. That's where all the action is, isn't it? So she said it was it was too cruel watching it, sort of shaking about with its one leg and stuff. Mm. You had to kill it. 
I imagine, I have this vision that one day, <laughs> Suzanne just having to say to his parents, um... <laughs> I'm sorting it. I'm sorting it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Oh, I, Suzanne is gangster. Yeah, I I love how like bugs for them are, are like the the main event. Like, are their lives just wow. that boring? That I, I don't know. <laughs> bugs. It, like it 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 affected him on a different level than it should affect any anybody. I think anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, except, I mean, unless it was like fucking Jiminy Cricket, you know, yeah. that's different, you know. Hold but some strings for Pinocchio. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, he did Pinocchio a favor. Like, yeah. don't let the wasp near Jiminy, but it, just random crickets. Yeah, it's just crazy out there. Like, yeah. It is it's what the wild, it is. wild west for crickets. <laughs> I love how girls like, you know, wasp been, been changing. What? No. No, no, there's no way. And if they have, why does anyone care? <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> and if like, they have changed, if they do eat chicken, why does it matter? Yeah, and like, it's not like they're going to open up a window for wasps at the KFCs. So what? <laughs> why does it matter? I, I don't know, man. This is, this is awesome. I love Carl, man. I yeah. love Carl. I love this show. It's great. Can't, it's one of those things where about it. it's kind of like I watch it and my head hurts as much as like if I hit my head on steering wheel. Like I mm -hmm. walk away from these episodes like very thankful that I live in my own head. Yeah. Not, not, yeah. not Carl's. So I'm very thankful. So he helps me appreciate my own thought and thought process or yeah, lack it's, thereof. It's a good call. <laughs> lack thereof. You know. It's a good comfort. It's like the pepperoni pizza of this channel. Yep. I mean, you'll have people like Carl. Like one one hand, I agree with him vehemently, and on the other, right in the same thirty minutes, you're just like, "What? I can't what? believe I agreed with you." But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love him. I love yeah, him. Yep. Yeah. Y'all know Man. this is two thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, this is one. I think this is one of the best ones. This is yet. this is definitely one of the best ones yet for me. Yeah, that was crazy, yeah. dude. <sighs> anyway, y'all, somewhere around to subscribe and watch another video. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck, unplug, and do something crazy, guys. Yeah. See y'all in the next one. <laughs> Later, fellas. We could be that mistake. Let's do this.